Well, Andre, this forum was sparsely attended, but it was a very frank discussion between Cox and the students on a variety of controversial issues. Did you organize buses to the riot on January 6th? No. This is another misnomer. So this has been reported, widely reported. It's a falsity. Tough questions for Republican gubernatorial candidate Dan Cox during a forum at Morgan State University hosted by the student newspaper. Democratic candidate Wes Moore did not attend. Our republic is built upon interaction, not an elitism. And I think that we need to get back to that. And I would um, urge Mr. Moore to engage in more debates. Cox fielded questions on a variety of hot button issues, including critical race theory and abortion, but says his top priority as governor would be the economy. Our affordable housing crisis is a disaster right now, and I'm going to fix that by lowering the assessment valuation on our property taxes. That will then pass along and ensure with tax credits also offered that our tenants can uh, once again afford housing. Another big discussion on education, specifically gender theory, which Cox calls universally concerning. We are smart enough to love one another and to help students that are struggling with gender identity crises without brainwashing or indoctrinating the entire student body and forcing girls to have to compete in college with persons born as males. That's going to end. Cox has been endorsed by former President Donald Trump and has been vocal as an election denier. This week, he is appealing a decision allowing Maryland jurisdictions to count mail-in ballots before Election Day, but says he's prepared to accept the results in November. Even if I lose, I can tell you very, very clearly, I believe in the system. I believe very firmly in making sure that our system works. Westmore's campaign says they are doing their own tour of Maryland's historically black colleges and universities. They state, say in a statement, quote, Dan Cox is desperate for any platform to peddle his conspiracy theories, while we have been focused on connecting directly with Maryland voters on the issues that matter to them. Moore's campaign says they are looking forward to debating Cox in the debate that is sponsored by WBAL-TV and Maryland Public Television next month. Reporting live in Northeast Baltimore, Kim Day, CWBAL, TV 11